We are the Robbins family, and this is our epic voyage on restoring a World War II ship. We hope you'll follow us along on our journey. She runs! She runs, Mills! Where are we going? <laughs> I was about to start the first time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hello, we're like digging holes for anchors. We have this. No idea what it is. You found treasure on a pirate ship. <gasps> So we're on our way to the boat. We just nipped into Screw Fix to get some goodies, bulbs, another tap, stuff like that. How many meals? Yeah. Meals in the back. Watching YouTube. You watching YouTube? Yeah. Oh, typical, eh? People watching YouTube. Bad for you. Gives yeah. you stupid ideas. Um, yeah. Got my gem is. It's probably getting sucked into all the um, all the deals. So we are completely overwhelmed with the amount of support we're getting. I'm quite a naive sort of person who's like, I don't know, thinks the world's bad and you have to do things on your own to to like get somewhere in life. But this this boat project we're doing is just like incredible. It's just like the amount of support we're getting and people are behind us. I don't know how to describe it. Just sort of, it's just amazing. Thank you. What do you think of all the support we've been getting off YouTube? That is really good and it helps us a lot. Yeah. Is your mum struggling? Should we help her? <laughs> 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 well, these lads are there just like sat watching it. <laughs> the package was the wrong way around, so it was coming out the bottom. Oh my gosh, that was like a big roll of tape. Babe! <sighs> I've got more bags because, like, yeah. I don't know, since I have a bin bag obsession. Hang on. I've had these before, I think it was missing the H off that. <laughs> Didn't have any look at bulbs. They only had 12 volts, so... It might be a bit dim today. Oh well. Let's go! Let's go, go, go. Hello, welcome back to our channel. We're all gonna try and pull this sledge over to our boat. Is it gonna work for me now? Yeah. It's a bit muddy. It's very muddy. Right then. Right. You're gonna try and do some filming? Yes. Yeah. The boat is right there. So we're gonna head to it and make sure they don't fail. Because there's a lot of water here. And they're just right there. So they're gonna lift it and just pull it towards the boat. <laughs> we're gonna sink it. Oh no! Oh no, it's up on water! Oh, oh no! Uh, just At least I got the phones and, no, and stuff and there. cameras in my back. Smell the best, does it? It stinks! I need a waterproof bag, Amelia. Go! <laughs> they just channeled it. Let's go. Quick! Quicker than them. They're struggling a bit. Thing in the world. <laughs> yeah. Good the pasta pots are on the boat. Oh my god. We're nearly there yet. 
I don't know. We're gonna have to go over this. So, there's like pieces of wood here. Oh yes. Um. Oh yeah. Mm. Hold on, hold it there. Straining all the water off. Cool. And stuff. That's good. And made like okay. a little bit of fall. I'm halfway. Halfway. Let's go. Go. Oh. She looks so small, but when you get to her, she's so big. Mm -hmm. What's that? Oh no! Mummy sunk! Did you catch her on camera for all that? See down there? I think it's oh, quicksand. Oh. Ah. Yeah, oh no. You've stuck. Look at that. Oh my. Oh god. Oh. Yeah. Don't stand in there, I won't. I was saying all uh, we need to bring a plank oh. to put across the walker. Oh, where's sun? I don't know. <laughs> Just like one, two, three, go. Yes! I might do two trips, I'll come back now. Come on, babe, it's only a little left. You yeah. can do it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so muddy today, isn't it? Oh! Oh, no! <laughs> So how eventful was that? Um, tricky, but uh, the camera girl, my mom fell over two times and just a look at her knees and hands. <laughs> yes, it was, um, it was eventful, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. Think I've had the gin or two, wouldn't you? And I haven't, but uh -huh. yeah, we're, we're nearly there, we've just got a few more. Well, gotta go back and get the journey because. Oh my god. We've got, we've got moors everywhere. Don't look all over the camera. Oh, oh, I just wiped it off from you. <laughs> so, time to get all this. On oh, there. Up there. Alright, so Moore now walking above the wheelhouse. Yeah. First ever time. Right. And to be honest with you, it feels quite good. Yeah, we've Look got the edge. <laughs> we've got a hole here, Gemma. We've got a hole here, oh, fuck. Well, that's not good, is it? That's our problem there. Because okay. the actual floor there is actually okay. And this is where we're taking on the water. Go on. Oh, no, I don't know. I can see it move. <laughs> <laughs> Did the air move for you, darling? Mm. No. <laughs> So yeah. Oof. There's a big hole here, isn't there? So that's Gemma. Oh, so this is a spinny radar we thingy.
for our reference. Have we got any ceilings? I don't know, it's big. Because I'm thinking, obviously, it's an awkward place to patch. Well, we can't really patch it. We could just whack some ceilings and then, like, glue some wood over it temporarily. That's a really good idea. I know. Uh, I'll follow them. Um, we got anything? Yeah, we'll find some. But yeah, that, that definitely, that's, that's our problem. That's, that's the, the area. And maybe there, it's where, it's where this is oh, yeah. join that and, you know what I mean? And this as well. And that as well. So I reckon. So do you want to, do you want to explain to that? We've still been still getting leaks. So yeah, we, we put this sheet over. We have actually really slowed the water ingress down, but we're still coming in, but Last time Gemma wouldn't let me walk on this. I don't know why. Probably should push me over or something. Like um, so yeah, we found a hole, we've got to fix that. Hopefully next time it'll be drier. Right, look for some ceilings and then cover this because I think as well it's going down here. That's, that's it's going down there. It's then going underneath and then that's what's going, what's wrecking all the floor. And then it's coming out downstairs inside, isn't it? Well, let's see if we can find some ceilings. Ceiling hold. So we found this, this largest hole, which mm. all the water's running off here, down here, and through our big gash. So all we can find at the moment, I was going to put a load of seal, going to put a load of sealant in it, but we haven't got any. So we have to, have to improvise. So we found this breathable membrane, which is like I think it goes below like tiles and slates on house roofs. So. This was only on the boat, but as far as attaching it, we use like copious amounts of this stuff when we're doing our vans. So I'm just spray gluing it. But it reminded me of doing roofs with my uncle. Because we used to always go up on the roofs and you used to say, don't stand on the felt, don't stand on the felt. And guess what I used to do when I was young? Stand on the felt and break it, then he had to fix it. But unfortunately, my uncle's passed away. He would have loved doing this job once again. He would have absolutely loved to have been here. He'd have been looking out here. But he was taken too soon. He's like one of, one of my biggest inspirations in life. And it's really sad to be honest with you. Just, just to think about him, dear. Been to think about him a lot this week. When we actually started our business, doing campers, he, he was there helping us, wasn't he, Jim? Yeah. You know, he was, he, he was a, a big part of it in the beginning, too. You know. Bless him, we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for him, I don't think. And he would be... He would be shouting if he did that. <laughs> Fudge job! <laughs> He'd be like, oh, we can't do that, haven't we? Look at that, though. It's a beauty. Oh, it doesn't stick to the green stuff very well, Joe. Oh, I think we have a child. Hello. Have you been over here before? Yeah. Somewhere over here. Oh, the bounce too much. <laughs> it might fall through. I know, it is so big, isn't it? Yeah. So, what is it that you've come up here for? I don't know. <laughs> is it because you want pasta? Yeah. <laughs> it's dinner time, someone's hungry. Yeah. You're a princess, aren't you? Mm-hmm. It's pasta time. It's pasta time. Pasta number one of the day. <laughs> Been called Phil, shouldn't you? Oh, fucking crack it. What's it like? Name's Bob. What, James Bond? No, Unibond. Where to fill your crack? I feel all over me now as well. Don't wash your hands. Got no water. This so if you have to actually let it go off. You're double spraying it? Yeah, it's, oh, of course. There you go, look at that. 
So we don't want to do boot washing, we do roof repairs. <laughs> Check that bad boy out. Still like working over the edge and stuff. No, I'm working. I've got the greatest bite, you know. Give us another screw, we'll stick another one in there. Precious screws. We've got more. Only our old stock. Honestly, who uses gold screws? That was. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, we're gonna recycle that one. Let's work that one back in there. That's a beautiful seating area we just did. Well, we've got two washers left. I'm not using engines though. Yeah, we'll just sit one in the middle. We need one here just to keep it in. Ideally on the flat so it runs. Screw me up. You do it yourself, don't you? <laughs> Shut your face. Sounds like you got a good buy in some sort of Coming off that. So, save that wood. And then we'll go over the two there. Oh, you've got to go through 12 now. 12? Is that marine ply? No. Look at that oh, there. Oh, shit. <laughs> Where's the other one? Actually, I think those screws are better than the, the worst ones. Alright, so we just need like, something to like, wedge that one in there. Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right, we've fixed it. <laughs> oh. So, earlier, on, well, before there was loads of bits of like, I don't know, well, okay, I can, actually, I can show you actually. There was all that was there, but it was holding water. And all them paint cans there were like stuck to the floor. I think that was like causing us to hold water, and obviously it's got to have a leak somewhere around here. But we're not, we're not chasing that because it's all being replaced. So it should all run off a bit, bit better now. We'll let you know in a week when um, when we come back. And then we're done up here then and we can go and find the horn. <laughs> no, speaking of finding the horn, I've found the horn. Hold that. Oh no, don't that way. That's not very manly, is it? <laughs> it's a bit like a screw with his foot caught in the door. <laughs> <laughs> beep beep choo choo choo. Uh, okay, I don't know what we're talking about, we're just talking yeah, bollocks as Gemma normally says. Bollocks! Cool. Oh, I think we found some teak as well. Teak! It's not moving the camera around so much though. You get people seasick? What a boat? No. Simon's way of life is just press buttons. Nav, nav lights. Just press buttons and see if they work. And I'm like, oh, don't you want to rip up. So why is that buzzing? Huh? What's this one mean, guys? What is that it for? It makes a noise when we... Um... Mm. Oh, it's that? Yay! It's saying that we've run out of... Nautical water. miles. <laughs> You have hit the bottom of the floor. <laughs> oh, he's got a backlight switch. Backlight switch. Yay! Stop it now. That's so annoying. It's this one that's um, the depth, because obviously he's, he's saying that we're pissed off. You're sitting on the bottom of the ocean. But there's no actual reader. Right, can I switch that off in here then, because that was annoying. Yeah, Which one was that one? That wasn't even that one. Uh, that was oh, that was that one. Instruments. Instruments. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah. VHF. I'm guessing. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the hell? Whoa. Don't mess. Number six for Queen. No way. We do it, R and J Stone, up two places to number five, and up two places to number four. It's Donna Summer. Don't mess. With love to oh. love you, baby. 
Cause week four, now it's three. Oh, Love this? machine, the miracles. None <laughs> <laughs> and ever. Nice right, we'll yeah. just cut this because of copyright issues. What have you got live now? <laughs> Tag 16, you are, I think. <gasps> Is this the uh, internal intercom? No, 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 it's HF. Um, very high frequency, maybe. Does it stand for? Well, we're getting no audio there. There's no light. Oh, are you scanning? I don't know, I'd have expected to hear some. Hello, hello, it's just volume up. And the what's the squelch? Squelch is where you can like. I don't know, I'd love to like. Maybe we need to read the instruction manuals. No. Simon doesn't do instruction manuals, do you love? We lost them in the fire. <laughs> so I'm assessing the fire. And it is rusty. <laughs> but I found the door. I didn't realise I had a door, but obviously the hinges are broke. So they are stuck. Poor lighting where I am. So these have snapped off and left in the in the fire in the rust. You can see. So I'm gonna try and not break the light. Yeah, broke the light. I'm gonna try and get these pins out here. So I'm just gonna give them both a good spray and leave them to soak. But it's quite a nice fire, obviously rusted to death. What's that noise? Yeah, Ah. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, there's another. Go on. Do you remember your wife? Hang on, hang on. Oh, it's this, the stabilizer system. Stick it off. I just want to see what the bottom's doing. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? 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 Obviously, I'm not going to run the engine, but just showing like. Crap. What's with the alarm? The alarm's just to see like you've got no oil pressure. Well, then, this one, I've not got a back on this engine, so. I thought it would have been le linked. So. So, let's do it for now. Oh. This 12 volt, you can push it in or out, you know, I don't know if it's... Start spamming buttons. I'm scared to press buttons. Yeah. Should we run it? <gasps> oh, oh. Is it live? Siren? No. Is it on or not? Oh! Hold on. Oh my god. Come find it. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Press it. Fucking go outside quickly. Fucking does my I don't want to press it too much. I can't get out! That's what's the problem. Right, have we got a horn? Can you? Can you hear me? No, everybody through there. <laughs> He's forgot which button he pressed. It was the red one! I can hear you. You can hear me? It's bizarre. Hello? Say something. <laughs> Stop it. 
<laughs> Can everyone's looking? <laughs> Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> okay, we got some random noise. It's actually not even from the hall now, it's from that speaker there. <laughs> that wasn't even from the horn. No, that was the it's side. from the speaker yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. No, we need to put the mic in it. Hence. Ah. So you could hear me? I could hear you through that first speaker. Go on, right, you keep the camera in here. Oh, uh, no, because that's what that's <gasps> off. Oh. Attention, puzzles. <laughs> Put your ass crack away. <laughs> oh my god. Those are passengers, we're about to crash. <laughs> Please try and figure out how to put the live trackers on. We use the instructions to light the fire. <laughs> right, so we've decided in the forward cabin that we're going to use this at the minute for storing all the random bits of wood that we find. So I think we're going to strip it, the, the monkey ply off the side. Have a good look at the hull. And then um, it just gives us an area just that we don't walk in and out of daily. Oh, a nice big hole up there. Name that tune. <laughs> you know the musician, did you? <laughs> so no, she's not that bad. So throughout pretty much the whole hull, you've got all this ballast. I don't know what that's telling us. I think we Maybe she's on. really unstable. She's not gonna fall over though, is she with all that in it? Hopefully it's not. like a weeble. <laughs> <laughs> But luckily, I think before the ballast went in, it was all it was all pretty heavily primed. So, but what I don't want to have to do is move that to have a look, and then move the rest to have a look. So I think for now we're going to put the floor back down because it's not too bad. But back to the actual internal of the hole. So. Save as So obviously double diagonals, it's all full of um, green and crap at the moment. Some of the stringers are suspect. I think these are called spider frames. Spider! I, I don't know why, because it's got a frame on the inside and it's got the stringers and it's got the another frame, but they all need 100% need replacing. So the beam shelf is a bit worse for wear on the on the bow. The deck beams, all the ends are rotten off them, so they need replacing. 
I don't know what these pieces of wood are called between the deck beams on top of the beam shelf. So I'm not going to make up a word because everyone will go. Rrr. So they want filling in. But yeah, pal. but the actual yeah, hole. The hole. That's need some torches. Okay. Like see on the camera. The actual hole in the worst part of the boat. Yeah. Seems Wait, these are walls. Yeah. Yeah. Tell Amelia what these are then. So this is the outside of our boat. So yeah, outside mills. Calls the hull. So do you remember us talking about the double diagonal planks? Yeah? Um You remember from ages ago. So we've got our pieces of wood on the outside of the boat, haven't we? And we've got another another skin on the inside, which is that one. And we've got the frames. Then we've got the stringers, um, and then I'm making up names for these, but I think they're called the spider frame because I think there's basically a gap between the inner and outer, and either it saves material or it saves weights, I don't know. But good. So I think a good hose down the scrub it will reveal a lot more. Yeah. She's looking good, isn't she? She's not as bad as I thought she was going to be. Let's have a look over here. It looks obviously a bit worse here, but that's because it's right. It's got the window, so it's more... No, it's because it's fucking... That. Got a big hole. Got <laughs> a hole! There, bud. Paula, this is how you test it with a piece of hardwood. You need some nice... Nice ringing... See that? No. But then, when you go to like... It's like thud. So, what I will do is go around the whole hole. I'll get some some bright orange spray. And spray where I think it's dodgy. And then, I think I'm going to put the sisters in it. Because obviously we can't really change the stringers. Well, the frames. Not that these, these, this particular one is changing, but there is some. But I think I'm going to put a sister, so laminate, laminate some sisters into it. So you want a sister? No. <laughs> Good, you're not getting one. <laughs> you don't want girls. But... Cool. Yeah, we're good. So what do you think? Um. How long do you think it's going to take us to turn this boat into a proper boat? Eight months. Eight months? Are you joking? No. I don't even think we could do it in eight months if we worked on it full time. <laughs> I think like eight years if you're lucky. No! Eight years, eight weekends. When we finish, you'll be old enough to live on it so we can kick it out the house and you can live on the boat. I'll live on the boat and you can have the house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it means I'll live on the boat. You and Mason can have the house. No good deal. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, they are copper fixings, aren't they? Yeah. As someone did ask. They're, they're all copper fixings. They're nice and green. And there's no elongations. I've seen. No what? Where like, so YouTube again, so like obviously you've got your fixing through but apparently they basically elongate the hole and I've not noticed any of that but and as you all know I haven't got a clue what I'm talking about. I've not noticed any of that either. That's oh, good. Mm. What, the elongations? Yeah. <laughs> How's your roof? Crap. That's all coming off. Yeah. Don't matter. Yeah, it's like, no but I mean like, that was like the structure. It's just the ends. It's the ends of these, so I don't know whether I don't know whether to scarf it in or we could even sister these. Because as well, it's got all these. I don't know what they're called. Floors, maybe, maybe not. God knows. Beam shelf hooks. That's not a good word. Shelf brackets. They look shelf like shelf brackets. That'll do. <laughs> Should we call them shelf so brackets? Shelf, shelf brackets all corroded. Yeah. Not much use of space over here, so I could actually weld a gusset into them, or we could. We could sandwich this both in ply, then that would really strengthen up. Because say up here is pretty dead space, isn't it? Yeah. And it'll pretty much guarantee strength. Can you go and play? Can you go and play? Yes, you can. You Thank do. you for your help. Yeah, because I've been waiting. Okay, love I you. Didn't, I didn't want to disturb the camera. Oh, kiss kiss.
Mm, love you. Love See you in a minute. Right, go on, let's go on tidying. Are we ripping the carpet up? I, I yeah. Yeah. We'll, I want to see what's under this because this look, this feels. Yeah. Let's do it, let's do it. Um. Go on. Is that shower tray is probably gonna have to go. Yeah. Okay, let's go. What have we found then? Water tank. We don't know whether it's fresh water or grey water, but these. They're the vent tubes, so they haven't been blowing into your home. As if you can make bubbles. <laughs> it's blowing back at me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I think they're empty. So I'm trying to say it doesn't come with any, any other water. It's nice and worthful, but then you can like. You don't know what your ones are like, don't you? No. So, are we looking underneath then? So, yeah. You manage as well. So. I can manage. So, we're not full of water. There is a lot. A little tiny puddle, a little little tiny splash. Well, considering it was soaking there. Yeah. So, we've got more bags to balance. How good's this? Nice bit of chunk sitting on a big. Cable. This is the um, the anchor winch cable. So it's just domestic. Looks like six mil twin and earth. Yeah, just put that over there. Just, just rest it under there and stop it moving. That won't cause a problem in the future. No, never. Solid that. Got to keep your wood level somehow, haven't they? They've got. <laughs> let's just whack the wires underneath. <laughs> you know it's fuse at hundred amps. Is it? Yeah. Hmm. Just pop. Pop. Right then, so, nice remains of rotting plywood. That's the off the deck, by the way. You know, Got a nice wobbly floor there. Yeah, sure, yeah. You know what, you're gonna do, you're right. gonna do a weight test. <laughs> oh, look at that lovely hole underneath. Oh, the chisel. Chisel, Renizzle. Yeah, send her, so we will record that way. Yeah. First look, first time I've seen it down there. Oh, there's a tiny bit of water right in the, right in the bilge. Soon you'll be about. But you know what? Everything like below the waterline has been primed. Which is a bonus. It's obviously fresh water can't really get to it if it's been primed. Shame all this wasn't primed. <laughs> That's a good shot. You see it all over. Make <laughs> look hot. Gone. <laughs> can't look hot. No, try again. <laughs> Just lick the wire. <laughs> Might explain the hair, might <laughs> <laughs> not, not the earth wire, that won't do anything. Live <laughs> 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 oh live, see if we're fucking sparking. No, don't. I wouldn't, I wouldn't up actually. I'll put. No, don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, still don't mess with electrics. <laughs> it's only messy. <laughs> it's only 24 volts. 12 volts. Well, lick it all day. 24 volts. Yeah, it's only winning single. Tingle. <laughs> yeah. So, so do we need to investigate any more? Should we? Because sometimes they'll need a shower tray. I don't know. I think it's like it's gonna be quite a nice place. The, the shower tray, yeah. What? Yeah, it's a shit. It's just, it's all the the joist here and here. Yeah. They just the the. Yeah, actually, it's not over here. Let's see, it's only brand. Yeah, no, I mean, it's where this, where this joist meets that one, where it screws oh, in yeah, here. These failed and, yeah. and the same there. Well, I've all this out. Well, I've got to move all the ballast out. We need, to... we need to spend a week and all just this moving crap. Is um, some sort of insulation? Insulation, yeah. Which, like. It's not mould. We haven't found any damp yet. Oh, it could be asbestos. <laughs> Smell it. <laughs> Lick it. No, we um. Yeah, there's no mold on it. It's weird. We haven't. We have. It doesn't. Some wood, 
Yeah, that, that was the shower room though, so you'd expect yeah. it, because it's just in interior bleeding tongue and groove, isn't it? But we haven't found any damp. It doesn't smell. You know, you get that mouldy yeah. smell, like... Like an old caravan. Yeah, <laughs> considering it's such a, a wet boat, because obviously it's, raining, like it's raining from above, it, Weird, it doesn't it? smell like... That, that mingy, dampy smell. So we have had a few comments asking that or, or all the mould and stuff. We haven't found any. No. Which is, our you know, our, is our bedroom probably is mouldy than this. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah, it's it's damp and stuff, but it's not mouldy. It's, well, yeah, but there's a couple of mushrooms growing up on the deck, but that's up on the deck, so. I'll be eating them, though. You see, gourmet mushrooms for breakfast, yeah. wasn't it? So, yeah, the hull... As hopefully you will agree now, this is the worst room as well. Yeah. You know, you know, bit of varnish and sound, isn't it? <laughs> well, okay. I want to clean it. I don't like going. I prefer to. I'm not going to say jet wash because no. because it, it'll it'll lift the grain. But can you just can I hose it with salt water and scrub it? Because I'd like to almost introduce salt water inside the boat. Does that sound that? Because yeah. then it'll. But what's your guys' experience? Do you. Because it'll neutralise. Yeah. I don't know. Do you know what I mean? So. Obviously, I can't replace the whole hull, so. I would just want to clean the windows so we can look outside, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> 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 No. Yeah, I've always got a tissue in my pocket. Yeah, I've always got a tissue in your pocket. Whenever you walk in the park and you ever need to poo, she's like, I've got a tissue. Simon! <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. that. I'm in glass boiler. Bit of spit and a bit of, a bit of tissue and a bit of spit. Look at it. Imagine yeah. that, Gemma, you're going in like on the high seas and there's like waves like going. You know, I shit myself. And Simon's there like, flat out. <laughs> <laughs> so. Cool. Look at those. Oh, it's gorgeous, isn't it? And now I know I've got. I'm not. I don't need license. We're off to um, Gibraltar tomorrow. Dad. What? Guess what? What? We just had a message from Sail and Yabba, our favourite YouTubers, saying that they love our videos. And we hardly watch Sailor Channel since creating our own, but we are really enjoying yours. I love Sailor and Yabbit. That's like the ones that I watch religiously. Yeah. Like as soon as they come out, I'm on it. <laughs> oh, Those good people, it's like I feel like they're like my idols. <laughs> and they just, I feel, I no, feel they, like they've got the same problems as us. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like they're starstruck. Do you know, like as if like a pure favorite celebrity and like messaging us. Like, it's like, oh. <laughs> I'm gonna show the um. Oh, I've got another message, I'm not ready, yeah. <laughs> well, I've now filled the area. Full of crap. <laughs> so what we, did you do? We cleaned it, we emptied it, we had a good look, and. Oh, wood straw. The wood straw. So, and all random bits. Wood and rubbish. Do Loads of rubbish when we do a flotation skip run. That's, that's what we're going to do next time. So, we haven't seen behind this oh, area, so. neither can the camera, because there's no lights over here. Yeah. Ah. Oh yeah, she's all right actually. She looks First nice. time we've seen it. she is. Yeah, she's full of crap. Is it like, what this beam's called? What is this beam called? I don't know. A shelf. <laughs> it is not, and it's not structural. No, well, it's not on the other side. No, so. but we need to close the window close. Look, window, water. Yeah, that win yeah. windows don't bring in any water. No, it's that big hole above it. <laughs> I can see daylight, watch. Yeah, no, it's a big hole above it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not the wind. It's not the open window. It's the hole above it. Mm. But nice little puddle there. Soft ply, but that's not marine ply, is it? <laughs> oh, oh no, it's not. That's been that's hard, but that's just been hard board. Uh, yeah, but it was, no, sorry, it was just like a kitchen, right? Yeah. Or something. 
don't know why you do that though. No, why? E. Oh, it's just crap. It is, actually. It, it is hardboard? Fucking hardboard. Why yeah. would you use hardboard? I don't know. Oh, watch out, it's wrapped around that wire. I've <laughs> got <laughs> a piece of wire for it. <laughs> it's live. Don't. It's very soft, have... just snappy. There you go. Cool, more carpet. Should we peel this off? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Look under there. <laughs> That's where you keep your chain then, is it? <laughs> Wow. Look at the chain, it's proper old school. Look at it, it's got like a little... I've never, I've never seen a chain like that with little knobs on the top. I see a lot of things with knobs on, but... Yeah. Let's have a look under here then. Wow. She's alright, actually. Yeah. A bit worn, I like, but... A little bit. See, so, yeah, because it's just... You shouldn't be touching wire, should you? No, I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> Why have men always have got the age to like wiggle with stuff? Like. Well, you're <laughs> cool. Can you get the other board up or? This one, no, yeah. It seems a bit swollen. Oh, I'm guessing it. It's high fit, isn't it? No, it's not. This is. Do you want the crowbar? Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, what the? Ah, oh, that's your um. So this is blue as well. Look, that's your thingy. Um, uh, it's got a pump in it. That's for like your 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 waist. You shit. No, no, your um, your shower. So poke on there. So look. This is dry, it just looks like full of dust, doesn't it? No, it's got water in it. Yeah. But you know, all the pumping in it, that'll pump yeah. it up, but it's like all of your, your grey water from like your shower or your toilet. I don't think your toilet actually, no. You know, like your sinks and your showers and stuff will go into there, then it'll get pumped overboard because the showers blow the water line, technically. So that's probably what all these are for. Oh. So yeah, that's interesting. Cool, they more sandbags. Fucking hell. <laughs> Bricks. And the fucking big lumps. Oh, me. Oh, what is it? It's about fucking a million, son. <laughs> Piece of wood. Fuck <laughs> Is it some kind of like iron or? It must be. Fucking hell. I'm going to make some scales and weigh that. I'm not even going to attempt to lift it. You're not even trying. Wow. I don't know what's these, but... They're like the bulkheads because wasn't... No, really. Hasn't the boat got about five separate they water might... type bulkheads? No, they might be the old water tanks, you know, the original ones. Oh. They're, all, they're all riveted. Oh, right. So, because it's like old. Old, old? It's quite a... It's, it's a boss, isn't it, to like still be uncovering and like getting to see underneath and stuff. Yeah. See, we're learning too. Oh, I can't believe the way you land though. I know. So this is the outside of the hull. Um, it's full of like lots and lots of paint. Mm. But... So the paint comes off really nice, but all the planks are like good. You can see all the nails. Windows. Not seen this bit. Let's have a look. This is quite good. Obviously, I don't want to pull too much off because I'm making a mess, but I don't want to like. So everyone keeps asking to do like a walk around, but it's not the easiest to walk around here. So all this is actually stainless. Big, big beast of, big beast of steel, really. The same this side. So yeah, I don't know what this is for. I think, I think probably the anchor's probably gone through at some point. But yeah, big anchor tube. A bit rusty, but I think it's got some life left in it. Yeah, it's all good. Males, 
So should we wrap it up? Have we had a good day or not? Yes. Yeah? I didn't fall over. I've seen this. <laughs> really? We're not back at the van yet. You've still got time. <laughs> it's actually quite hard, this ground, eh? Yeah. Also, quite high sun content. Hi everyone, we just want to say that we are absolutely blown away yeah. by everyone's support. It's it's quite weird, isn't it? We are quite quiet people, we keep ourselves yeah. to ourselves and to get all the comments and all the supporters and all the people saying, you know, open a, buy me a coffee, open a Patreon yeah. and we never expected it whatsoever and the comments we're getting from people is fabulous and yeah. we are truly thankful for all the support that you're all giving us it is it's it's just blown our mind this week i've had people just randomly um sent us logos you know loads yeah, of people have, have like, tried to make us logos and yeah. um, we've had a lovely guy from america who's actually sending us a gopro which is yeah. amazing so. i've had an email today someone who's got an outboard which we could really really do it obviously because we could Not do with another yeah. we could do with another tender because the amount of rubbish yeah. we've got to move yeah. off this boat and we're only limited on the the times we can do it in the tide yeah. so we've got like a two hour window to remove rubbish on a good day <laughs> yeah. you know what? so we really really appreciate everyone's support it's 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 just blown our minds we are we're in shock but we always we just I'm look at each to... other and we're like I'm used to grumpy people who like, you know, we sort of stick ourselves in our shed, don't we, at work, and we just carry on working, we work for our customers and stuff. Yeah, they're all, they're all nice people, but we don't realise there's so many nice people in the world, so yeah. thank you for all your help. Thank it's just, you. It's much appreciated. Like and subscribe and put that notification <laughs> Don't we, follow the notification. <laughs> like the video. Like the video. Right, tides are, tides are coming in, and I'm sinking again. <laughs> We'll clean it in the puddle at the other end. Yeah. Come on. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> I almost slid. <laughs> no, you did. Ooh. It's okay. So this is all like proper. I think the stem post is a bit. No, it's like double A, but this this one's fine. This one's a bit soft, like. It's been pegged. But yeah, she's good. Definitely terrible. As I say, all this is like. She she proper. looks better than what we thought. Yeah, she's nice. We will have a little proper video. Maybe when we get a high tide, then we'll go around on the boat. Yeah, because trying to go around on the mud is. Do you know what, Jem? What? This will be good. I've actually got. So the veil could tell like caterpillar. <laughs> but it's it's got foam matches his engine. engines. <laughs> yeah. So they use it to basically find temperature differential. Do you know if you've got a leak? It's not ideal. You need the sun to go off it. And then the and then the damp the damp parts stay at a different temperature. But then like but you can see like my hand print print. So like so when when we get a bit of sun on her Frozen. Stupid notifications. Oh, what's it what doing there? Oh, there you go. I'm trying to look around the window, you know, to see like. Yeah, look, like you can see like some. No, it's not too bad. Some like leakage through. Is that all reflection? That's it. Uh, that was us. Idiot. Idiot. But no, the actual bottom of the hull. I think it's all, well, it was, it was, I think it was anti coal in 2013. Yeah. Oh, God. I wouldn't, you know. You are. Come on, it's oh. getting late. Yeah. It all sounds pretty uniform. Oh, my day. Don't get my boat muddy. <laughs> <laughs> Right, go and lock up, get your Jenny, let's go!